Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you. Oops, today. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, right then, so just going to get straight into this one, okay? Uh, how does Charles feel about Denmark? Hey, Will uh, Denmark leave a mark for Sussexes? Okay, so uh, how does uh, Charles feel uh, about Queen, is it Margaret? Uh, the Queen of Denmark, let's say, uh, stripping uh, some titles. Yeah, he's, he's watching uh, how things uh, pan out here, okay? Uh, because uh, it, there's been a little bit of a fallout. There's a little bit of a fallout. Look, if you're going to do something uh, and people are pissed off, okay, the worst thing to do is try and backtrack halfway uh, because it's nonsensical, you know. Uh, they'll get over it. They'll get over it uh, uh, eventually, you know. And I'm sure, they will, you know... Uh, you see, even though they're not princes, they'll still be known, kind of, as princes, okay? You can't take their identity away. You can change the title, uh, but not the identity. So this is waiting. He's watching uh, to see what problems ensue. He's feeling very, very uh, nervous. It's like a knife's edge. So he's monitoring the situation uh, closely, uh, whether it be him or his advisors. I'm sure uh, him. Yeah, he's very nervous about some He's got a, a lot of anxiety. He sees, uh, you know, he's waiting to see the problems. There's going to be a delay uh, and it's, got a, you know, made him feel on edge. Made him feel on edge. Has, uh, you know, has uh, Charles and the Queen Margaret, have they uh, spoken? And discuss this. Has there been any discussion between both parties uh, regarding uh, the monarchy? No, I don't think so. No. No. Because you've got children here, okay? You've got children who think they're, they're self-entitled uh, and they drop out, at, you know, of the monarchy and doing the good works. They don't want to do it. They just want to fund their own lifestyle, you know? And that is uh, typical of the generation today. I think the world owes them a favour, you know, uh, that uh, carrying out the duties is uh, akin to abuse, you know, forcing you to do something that you don't want to do, uh, while they just want to go, you know, smoke dope with the mates, uh, drive fast cars, uh, get to all the uh, d decent clubs, you know, uh, and invitations to uh, exclusive parties, maybe boat parties, you know, uh, flying all over the world, you know. You can't just take and not give something back. And that's exactly what the younger crew uh, have been doing, as they understand it. I think uh, t two of them in particular. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's about non-working royals, non-working royals. Charles is waiting it out, he's waiting it out. I think uh, this lady's done this off her own back, you know. She's got uh, a good attitude uh, and it's the right time to do it, you know, with all the changes going on with uh, the King Charles, the Queen's death, uh, and, and her. She's been reigning for about 50 years, so, you know, uh, good on her. I think by that now, you know, she can definitely be trusted to know what she's doing. And she's saving the monarchy uh, for the future, I mean, I, do you know what? I won't be bothered about paying for royals who do everything they can for our country, you know, and go visit the elderly or, you know, put some in dog shelters, raise awareness for whatever, you know, because you've got, like, loads of people championing cancer, uh, Macmillan, uh, they're running the marathons and everything else, you know, uh, and certain other diseases. But, you know, I'd like to see them in real life uh, as well, you know. So, oh. But people are against it, you know. People are against it. I mean, what is it? You know, 10 pence or an, a penny. I don't know if it's 10 or 1. I might be exaggerating. But anyway, uh, yeah, f uh, from uh, a year from each of us. Oh, my God, you know, I've lost more change than that. 
I have. So, yeah, I don't know. As long as they was working for us, I wouldn't be bothered. But the likes of uh, Harry and Megan uh, who are just in it for themselves. Absolutely not. You do your duty or that's it, you know. Like I say to my husband, you stop taking me places. You stop doing, uh, you know, the uh, fixing things uh, and you'll have served your purpose. Ha, 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 I mean, ha, I mean. <laughs> he knows I'm joking. Anyway, yeah, so it uh, hasn't arrived yet. Okay then, so, you know, what What does, uh, what is Charles, what is Charles worried about with the Queen of uh, Denmark uh, stripping her kids? Because he hasn't made his mind up yet, okay? He hasn't uh, made his mind up at all. So, you know, he hasn't made a decision. Uh, the, there's nothing uh, been finalised, so that's why there's nothing uh, on the website. You know, do I get that uh, we're trying to come to an agreement about something before the decision is made? I kind of think that's it. Uh, and something he doesn't know. Well, he doesn't know about what Netflix is, what freaking, uh, oh, is it? Spotify. Yeah, the, uh, the memoir. I think these, uh, you know, things need taken into consideration. But I've told you before as well, uh, Charles cannot come across like he's punishing them, okay? He has to find a legit legal uh, reason. He can't come across it. It'll uh, cause loads of problems for him uh, and uh, the rest of the royal family too because no matter how much we disagree, dislike, you know, uh, can't take any more uh, the antics of uh, the Sussexes, it can't be based on a decision that comes across like it's punishment, okay? Because then it just makes them look as awful and petty uh, as those two. So this needs to be dealt with very, very uh, carefully. So I'm not sure about the, what he's waiting for, but we'll ask. What is Prince Charles waiting for? Right, I'll just say this. Okay, so say he's... Uh, Say he's not going to give him the titles because he hasn't seen the book or, or whatever it is that, you know, he wants to see. Uh, then that looks bad on the royal family. What if uh, Harry and Meghan, you know, uh, uh, agreed to show him what's in the books and the memoirs and the Netflix? Charles approves and they get their uh, titles based on that decision. But then there's a third option that, you know, Harry and Meghan seem to go back on everything. Absolutely. And the illegal contract in this world uh, that can stop Harry or Meghan uh, leaking stuff uh, and, you know, going back on their word. So, you know, I would suggest, like, making it the streamlining issue m more on that. I want them more on that. Uh, than either of these toxic uh, so we know we know they deserve to be punished but guys th the royal family would end practically you know if that's the case uh for punishing uh the royal family it just it just isn't on even in my books it's not on what is uh you know so what uh what's holding charles up with his decision about titles I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, you got the Ace of Swords reversed, the Page of Sword, uh, Page of Pentacles reversed, uh, and the Two of Swords uh, upright. And now you've got the Four. The Four. You know, it's family. It's family. Um, I'm telling you now. I did say this to you before. Charles is holding out to bring them uh, back in. Okay, and expand there, expand, okay, so uh, he wants them back in the, the royal family, he does want them back, I know you're going to think, oh my god, oh my god, but, you know, he, he does, he's trying to see a way, it's like, he's going wrong, he's going wrong already, he's thinking of a family unit, okay, and his son, uh, and his love for his son, Harry, 
And I don't feel he's putting, uh, you know, those emotions aside and thinking of the monarchy. I mean, they have wrecked it, that, you know, practically. Seeing that, though, they've also brought, uh, you know, the royals are more popular now than ever, ever before. So that's an unintended uh, consequence. I kind of feel like you over there, you over there, you over there, you over there. I, I kind of feel like, uh, you know, he's wanting. But I've got a uh, decorate, decorate, decorate. 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 Oh, he'll be decorated. He'll be decorated, won't he, on the coronation. That is the right word, isn't it? Coronation. Yeah, the coronation. So, yeah, uh, it, I'm, I'm getting that as well, you know. I, I feel like uh, he's going to be getting dressed up for something. He's getting dressed up, uh, you know, all in his... Uh, I see him with uh, his flat hat, white and black. Low, like a belt, a sachet uh, round the front. Uh, red pro or burgundy. Yeah, he's decorated himself. He's decorated himself. Could it be waiting? Oh, that's too long to wait, isn't it? It's too long to wait. Okay, uh, so... So where D Denmark's concerned is waiting things out. Um, they both kind of uh, agree, you know, people dropping out, uh, you know, not doing their own duties and this, that and the other, and they have a reckless uh, attitude to money. Uh, they spend, spend, spend without putting any uh, back in the pot or contributing. Has he made a decision about these titles? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Um, What's holding him back? What's holding him back? I think uh, the coronation. I think uh, trying to address things uh, as a, a family. Don't forget the Queen, before she died, made it absolutely clear uh, that she, you know she wanted Charles and Andrew uh, you know, she wanted Charles to kind of look after uh, Andrew. Obviously, he's got no titles and this and the other, so he'd be quietly, quietly uh, helping him. Um, and then there's also uh, Harry. She wanted him, uh, Charles, uh, to make peace with Harry, uh, no matter what, no matter what. So he's, he's kind of, he's, uh, he's following the Queen's wishes. He's following the Queen's wishes. What did the Queen uh, advise... Uh, Charles uh, about Harry uh, bef just before her death. Yeah, she's warned him that he's on the edge. You know, uh, she's warned him he's on Harry's on the edge. So this is like a bit of a panic uh, kind of. That's why he's on a, a knife's edge and he's torn because he's thinking this could send Harry uh, well over the edge. Look, you know, he's got a very dark mind uh, and he needs to see somebody. He ab absolutely does. So you know, these guys, the Queen's still sticking up for Harry. Which would indicate why uh, we're at a stalemate uh, here. She wanted Harry at the funeral. She thought, you know, she's seen it when he's looked ill and terrible. You know, she knows those faces. So does Charles. They all know those faces. I know my son's face when he's, uh, you know, struggling or not happy or upset. I know it because I've seen it before and I recognise it, you know. Uh, and that's why, what they've been seeing. But un unlike uh, unlike us, uh, you know, we, we can uh, reach out, can't we? And we can soothe and sort and nurture. Uh, but... He was so far away and cut off by Megan. Uh, they haven't uh, been able to do that. So their concern is not anger, uh, not revenge. 
It's out of, uh, you know, the worry uh, about Harry. And obviously, you know, uh, we only see so much of uh, Harry uh, and his faces. But I, I guess there's other information that's been fed through to the royal family as well, you know, uh, about Harry. I can't see, uh, you know, any of them just letting uh, Harry go and being, being on his own because they would have consulted a psychiatrist. Uh, they would have because you would need to learn the tactics uh, to, to win. You can never win with somebody like Megan, um, but... Kill him with kindness, you know, that's what we do, kill him with uh, kindness. So we kill Harry with kindness and in the end we get rid of Meghan because he would come round. Um, and it's very awful, I've mentioned before, my daughter was in a relationship like that uh, and I swear to God, it was terrible making her go around the house with the phone on speaker so that she could uh, listen to me or her dad, uh, say, you know, saying anything uh, and trying to, I always tried to uh, support her but it made her very angry towards me as well and I was always constantly aware that, you know, she was the one in the middle, you know, so she was, so like Harry, he's getting it from uh, Meghan, he's getting it from his family, so the family uh, realise quickly that we don't put pressure uh, on uh, our, the person affected, okay, uh, we just be there all the time when they want, encourage them, don't, don't let go, don't give up, you know, but don't, oh, it's just isolating, it's so isolating and it's destructive, but do you know what, my daughter saw, uh, the light in the end, you know, it took a few years, uh, it took, but, you know, um, but we were still there every, every step of the, the way with her, uh, and we found, like, finally, you know, she was free, but, uh, and that's Harry, that's Harry's, uh, relationship, and how I felt about my daughter is how they feel about their son, grandson, Okay, so, you know, uh, what attempts has Charles made uh, to uh, resolve things with Harry? Well, th they haven't been able to, you know, they just haven't been able to. So that they feel like they've had to, you know, a bit of defeat here. They've had to give up uh, and just walk away for now um, and put him on a back burner. They've got more pressing uh, things going on. You know, he's in trouble with the media over bloody climate change already, you know. Uh, so it didn't take long, did it, for the media to come out uh, with the knives. Yeah, they've had to, uh, you know, he's had to, so like, back off. He's had to extricate himself. Um, so I wonder if he's leaving it uh, to somebody else uh, to try and uh, see sense with him. You know, how do uh, things stand then with Harry and the royal family at this moment in time? Well, I think they're aware that things aren't going to welfare Harry and Meghan financially. Uh, I am getting uh, like a get out, get out, get out from a work situation. Could it be that the one out from Netflix, as we discussed uh, the other week, um, you know, uh, unemployed? Well, somebody's uh, no longer in work, so where that would be uh, work going fantastic, or even starting a new job or uh, a different position uh, here. Oh dear, uh, oh dear, I'm getting somebody uh, unemployed here. Out of work, out of work. I kind of feel like, uh, you know, Harry and Meghan are getting impatient, very impatient. Uh, they sell stories, you know, that's what they, that is their job now, uh, selling stories uh, against the royal family to, to make money, you know. Just absolutely wasting all abilities that they had uh, to, you know, to profit themselves in a nice, healthy way, you know. Okay, uh, so what next then for um, Charles' uh, announcement 
about Harry and Meghan's uh, family. Well, I think he wants rid of uh, this court case. I think he wants rid of this court case. Uh, will, uh, will Prince Charles sort the security for Harry to avoid... Uh, no. Will Charles uh, take action to avoid uh, this big uh, case uh, in the UK? Yeah. So, um, you're not going to like this. You're not going to like this, but we're going to be... Well, I don't know whether it's us or Charles directly, uh, but their security is going to be uh, paid for. Now, I don't understand that because apparently they wanted only uh, the Met Police, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I don't know how that goes, but I'm telling you now, uh, it's on the top of... Uh, Charles's to-do list you can't have Harry uh, costing uh, you know what could be millions in a court case so I do see that I, I can see Charles and Camilla discussing it but I've got another young woman another young woman and it's not Kate oh, I think it's uh, Beatrice Okay, so we're going to get a, I don't know, a celebration about uh, security. So could they, in fact, get Harry uh, to sort of like um, drop uh, the case, drop the case? It looks to be. But we'll leave uh, the security one for, for another reading. But yeah, uh, so that's what we're getting. He hasn't decided yet. Denmark's put him on edge. Um, right now he's not involved with Harry at all. There's something about being un unemployed and being told to uh, get out. I wonder, you know. Uh, what? Uh, what do we need to know uh, about Harry's visa? status you know well because he's uh, got children there he's fine so it's not the uh, the visa so I don't know so it could be uh, Netflix Uh, page of cups there yeah okay then so you know i think there's a well financially uh harry won't be uh bad off uh, so funny how we're giving him uh, the security putting money in the accounts when the court case is for him to pay uh for them at police that can never happen so basically you know uh, Charles knows this and he must uh, be taking steps already. I think this is also in part of uh, the title business as well, okay, uh, definitely. So, uh, well, let's wait and see, but, you know, nice to see uh, all the opera stories are coming out and a few uh, other bits that uh, I've mentioned. I think today on, uh, is it Neil Sean's, uh, I love him, I love him, he's so nice. Um, yeah, he had a few bits as well and I thought, ah! get to say this before you do <laughs> anyway guys uh, i'll be back soon with another reading bye now bye bye